Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. Google recently made some updates to their Material Icons database, a huge collection of free open source icons that you can use on your Squarespace website. In this tutorial video, I'll show you what these updates are and how to customize the look of these icons on your own Squarespace website. There is a little bit of code involved, some of it from Google directly, and some of it is some CSS that we're going to modify. Now let's head on over to fonts.google.com forward slash icons, and I'll show you how to get started with all of these new options. Before we get started in Squarespace, we need to head on over to fonts.google.com forward slash icons so we can select the fill, weight and grade, and optical size of the icons we're going to install on our website. So we're going to hop on over here, and if we scroll down, check out this customization panel on the right hand side. This is what we're going to adjust so we install the right style of font for our website. Now fill is what's going to make it a solid icon or an outline. Weight and grade both change the thickness of that outline. If you want it to be super thick, dial those all the way to the right, somewhere in the middle. You can place those sliders right there, or you can reduce it all the way down here to have really thin icons installed on your website. Now, optical size, I like to have this set to 48 PX, a maximum size we can have here. Totally up to you. We're actually going to change the size using the font size in CSS, but I like to set it to 48 so I know it's the largest version that I could be working with. So after you've customized it, I want you to click on literally any icon over here. Let's go ahead and select favorite and instantly on the right hand side, we'll get all the information we need to install this on our website. Now I wrote out the steps here in Squarespace and these are in the description below. This is what we're gonna follow right here. We just did step one. We created the icon style that we wanted to install. So the next step is going to be adding the style sheet code to our code injection. We want this to be site wide. So we're gonna to navigate to settings, advanced and code injection. Hopping back over to fonts.google.com forward slash icons this first box right here where it says style sheet, this is what we want. I'm going to click this right here to copy that. Let's hop back over to Squarespace and we're navigating to settings, advanced, code injection. We're going to place this in the header so it'll show up on every page on our site. A really important side note here, code injection is a premium feature. At the time of recording this, only available for business and commerce plans. If you're using a personal subscription plan for Squarespace, install this using a code block on your site. I'm going to say that one more time. If you're using a personal plan, I want you to install this using a code block. You're going to put that on the individual page you have these icons on, okay? Before I paste it right here, let's scroll down and take a look. I have three of those icons set up with the right classification and a markdown block, which we will get to, don't worry, but I just want you to pay attention to this. I have search, favorite, and backup right here. And as soon as we paste the code into our code injection and select save, Squarespace is gonna reload that page and we'll already see the icons. But I think it's really important to notice these aren't the right style yet. We haven't added the CSS to style these so they match what I've selected. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and go back here all the way to the very beginning and we're moving on to step three where we're going to add the CSS style in our custom CSS panel, okay? So hopping back into Google, I'm going to select this style right here. I'm gonna click copy and we'll hop back to Squarespace and select design custom CSS. This is where I'm gonna paste that code from Google. But this part's super important. We don't need these style brackets. We're putting this in a CSS file so I can remove those. Those aren't important. And check it out. As soon as I've added that, we now have a much thinner version of those icons. I'll remove this code so you can see this is what it was before. Pasting that code, this is what it is after. Now let's change the color and size as well. This is step number four here. At the very beginning of this code, before it says font variation settings, I'm going to enter a new line and I'm going to say font size 5 REM. And now they're gigantic. I made them huge. You can also use a PX version if you want to, maybe like 30 PX if you're comfortable using that size. Totally up to you. Maybe even 100 if you want them to be gigantic. This is how you adjust the font size for those icons. We can also adjust the color. 
I'm just going to type color and the word blue and add a semicolon. Nothing happened because I spelled color wrong. There we go. Now they're blue. So that's how you can adjust the font size and color. I want you to put that before the font variation settings and after that first bracket. Okay. So the last step, how do we add these icons to the site? How did I get these over here on the right hand side? I used a markdown block but you can also use a code block. So let's go ahead and do both. I'm gonna hop, I'm gonna select save first, there we go. Then I'm gonna hop into edit mode and right underneath here, I'll click this plus sign and let's add a block of code. There we go. So hopping back into our Google fonts, if you scroll down here, you'll see what you need. At the very bottom, you have this option to insert the icon. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this We'll hop back into Squarespace and I'll paste the whole thing right here. This code just uses the name of the icon to place it there on your site. And you can have multiple versions right here in the same spot. So let's go ahead and hop back to icons and pick another one. How about arrow circle left? That's called arrow circle left. We'll grab that name and over here I'll say arrow circle left. And now we'll have that icon next to the other one. Now this is the exact same code that we're gonna use for a markdown block. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that right here by selecting markdown. I'll paste the code right there and you'll see the exact same thing is happening. It's not placed in the exact same location. You'll notice these don't line up because I have added a specific outline code to my markdown block to make it stand out a little bit more. That's the only reason it's not lining up with this one right there. But you can add it to a code block or a markdown block by pasting this right here from Google where it says inserting the icon. And don't forget, you can have more than one icon next to each other. Let's double click on this. Just add them in the exact same line. You don't need to repeat the span class material symbols outlined multiple times. If they're in between this line right here and this line right here, you can add any symbols that you want. Now, whatever you decide to do, however you add this to your site, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this walkthrough. I've outlined those steps in the description below and I've included the custom CSS parts of this code that you're gonna wanna use to change the font size and the color on your own Squarespace website. Again, most of these codes are coming directly from Google itself. So I have the steps and the CSS in the description below, but those other pieces you're gonna wanna pull from Google once you decide what design style you're going for for these free icons. Alrighty, give me a like on this video if you're gonna give this a try on your own website and be sure to subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single Tuesday and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thank you so much for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.